Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Citrix certification video training and this is the fifth video of uh, in this series and in this video I'm going to show you how to add Zen servers to Citrix Studio. So in few last videos we have created one Citrix uh, we have installed Citrix uh, Zen desktop and where we have created one site which is Noida Citrix and we have added in last video we have added Zen server one to our uh, Citrix infrastructure uh, studio basically so here is my infra which I am going to use in this video so we have uh, two virtual machines which is running on Windows Server 2012 the first machine is Win2K12 DC01 which is my Active Directory server here you can see my Active Directory role DNS and DSCP role is installed on this machine and secondly we, we have a Citrix DC01 which is Citrix Delivery Control 01 and here you can see the machine information the Citrix DC01 and I have installed Citrix as Zen desktop on this machine and you can see here Citrix Studio is also there so just open the Citrix Studio and we have two Zen Server 1 and Zen Server 2 you can verify Zen Server 1 here it's running and if you go to the town you can see the Zen Server 1 and same you can verify here is Zen Server 2 so we have two Zen Server installed so in last video we have installed our Zen Server 1 and we have added our Zen Server 1 uh, to Citrix Studio connection so in this video we are going to add Zen Server 2 uh, the machine to our Citrix Studio so for do that we have to open the Citrix Studio just wait for a few seconds I am ju uh, I'm just trying to open Citrix Studio it's adding snipping so it will take some time to open the Citrix Studio management console so in last video we have configured the, uh, our first side and we have tested the connection also so to add the machine here we have to go to on the configuration we are going to click on hosting so we have a Zen server 1 here you can see and the network is name is Zen server 1 so to do the to verify here you can see the address is zen server 01 vector infosol.com so before adding the zen server 2 i just want to make sure the the name is identical for zen server 1 and 2 and for the name and network so i'm going here and rename the connection so i'm putting his zen server 01 so we can easily identify by the name and here on the network as well as I'm going to rename the name so Zen Server 1 network so you can verify it's identical now I'm going to click on add connection and resources so here you can see I'm going to add the new connection here create a new connection and I'm going to use a Zen server only here so Zen server and put the address here for Zen server 2 http colon slash slash Zen server 02 dot vector dot com and put the credential and put the connection name like Zen server 02 and now we have to go ahead and click next so on our next screen we don't have any shared storage uh, on uh, connected with the hypervisor which is Zen server so I'm going to use the local storage use the local storage of, uh, to the hypervisor so click next and now we have a, on the next screen we have a storage selection so we have a storage on Zen server 2 go ahead and network I'm going to call it like Zen server hyphen oops Zen server hyphen network 02 this time and click next and now we have everything is configured successfully so go ahead and click finish button so it will add the our second Zen server in a here you can see the second Zen server is now enabled and you can go ahead and find all this other things here like Zen server name, address, username, scope, maintenance mode, zone 
and also you can verify who is the administrator for uh, this Citrix Studio and who have access to this and if you want to modify connection anytime you can go ahead and like modify the credentials and also you can go ahead and delete connection here you can rename the connection and you if you want to put this machine on maintenance mode you can go ahead and click here and just click yes are you sure want to move turn main uh, turn on maintenance mode on this selection a selected connection if you press yes then the machine will go in maintenance mode so also if you want to go and uh, verify the machine which is running on this zen desktop uh, zen server hypervisor you can go ahead and click view machine so so currently we uh, we have not deployed any desktop os on this machine so that's why we are not getting anything so this is all about the adding the connections zen server connection in hyper uh, and Zen server hypervisor connection in Sistia Studio. So, thanks for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query or any question related to this, please post me on my give email address. Thank you once again. Bye bye.